Yes, indeed. It is called Lothric, where the transitory lands of the Lords of Cinder converge. In venturing north, the pilgrims discover the truth of the old words. will abandon their thrones. And the unkindled will rise. Nameless, accursed, undead, unfit even to be cinder. So it is that Ash seeketh embers. Hello, my name is the Sadistic Gamer, and welcome to my playthrough of Dark Souls 3. Now, I'm going to be starting this off with a knight character, and uh, right now, as you can see, we're going through the character creation screen. do this. Oh wait. Class. I think I might do... I'm gonna go with night, yeah. Alright. And so our story begins. That was a reference there. 
If anyone can tell me what I just referenced, I will give a shout out in my next video, I suppose. Not many people watch me, but those that do would be happy to hear that you got that. Alright, let's get right into the game. So, first things first. Um, uh, here, let me just adjust the microphone real quick. So, first things first. Um, I've played through this game a few times before. I'm, no, I'm by no means an expert, but I do consider myself to be relatively decent at the game. So far, I'm off to a great start. terrible. That was absolutely dreadful, in fact. Alright, so the area we're coming up on here is the first boss. So, I'm just gonna get right into it. There's no point in dawdling if I already know how to fight him, so. Here we go. As a general rule of thumb, you want to dodge towards the attacks, which I'm not practicing right now, but just like that. Just like general Dark Souls rule, dodge towards attacks. Also good for Bloodborne. the first boss, ladies and gentlemen. Udex Gundir. No problem. And this is what they call being too good, my friends. Take notes. Just kidding, I'm absolutely terrible at this game, but... I have that first boss down. All right, let's go right into the next section. All right, so there are a few things to do in this area. First things first, I'm gonna farm some souls by killing some of the enemies just sitting about here. few enemies in this direction, so let's get right into that. I'm gonna go ahead on up here and collect this item. Alright, now 
I'm going to fight this guy, the Swordmaster. He'll give you your first katana of the game, the Uchigatana. He's uh, considered the parry master, so watch out. like that. Oh, some frame dips there. Nothing too major though. And I'm dead. Welcome to Dark Souls, ladies and gentlemen. You can die to any enemy. Even the smallest ones. And now I have wasted an ember. Okay. It's going a lot worse than last time. Just gotta get a little bit of R1 spam going there. R1 spam is the name of the game, ladies and gentlemen. If you spam R1, there is no one that can defeat you. Oh, what? Wow! Okay. So, as you can see, I'm not too great at this game. Um, we're just going to pretend like that didn't happen. I'm just going to go run to get my souls and then I'll, I'll go ahead and continue to the next area. I tried to hit B, but it didn't register in time. Ooh, an item. This is Firelink Shrine. This is the central hub of the game, really. This is where you level up by speaking to the Herald, by items, by speaking to that whatever she is there, and you upgrade your weaponry by speaking to the Lord himself. Well, I am Andrew, as a humble smith, forging weapon. You're in search of the Lords of Sindhu, right? Toilsome journey, I'd wager. Let me smith you web. I am a smith. Such as my bow. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to lock all my Estus Pretty be careful. into the regular Estus flies, <laughs> as opposed to the Ashen Estus. 
has it be? And with her, I'm going to purchase nothing for now. I may come back for items later. I'm going to level up through the power of the Firekeeper. Looks like I have one, two, three, four levels. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two into Vigor, one into Endurance, and one into Strength. Farewell, Ashen One, maybe. I'm going to go straight to the next area. Now I'm going to go from this bonfire that I'm about to get to the next bonfire right after it. And then I'm going to call it the end of the episode. So that should together take about five to six minutes. Not very long at all. So now I have to make a run from this bonfire to the next one. It's relatively easy. If I don't mess up like that. Now that I've killed him, it's easy mode to kill the other two enemies that he would have triggered. The only two that will attack you of their own volition. Now we continue. So then we're free to continue on to the next area. Oh. Let it be known that I'm terrible at parrying. Just note that in advance, so that way if you ever see me try to parry and see that I fail, you understand that I'm just bad. was a really inefficient way about go of going about this, but Alright. Now I've cleared them out. I march up here. Sprint as fast as I can this direction. And then move immediately this way. Make an attempt to take out that guy. Kill this guy. I'm gonna avoid fighting th with this knight from now because he is much too powerful for me. Alright, now I'm 
gonna go ahead and move in here. This guy's gonna attack. Easy backstab. Then I continue on. So you come up here, and right up here is that bonfire I was referring to earlier. And just like that, folks, you have completed your first 20 minutes of the game. I'm sure first time players, it'll take a little bit longer to get past Gundyr and to figure out a way past all those enemies down there. But once you're here, it's truly easy. Dragon Corpse. It gets easier from here as well. Um, I demonstrate, but unfortunately I don't have time tonight, so without further ado, this will be the end of my first episode of my Dark Souls 3 Let's Play. Thank you for joining me, and as always, I am the Sadistic Gamer, and thank you for watching.